Okay, let us just let us just take the wider point here Par Gupta that is this a credible argument that in the attempt to weed out large scale uh, kind of guided or organized Coordinated misinformation by countries hostile to us that there is yes. collateral damage that some legitimate handles and there is legitimate uh, or legitimate criticism gets blocked. So, uh, Vasu, uh, uh, is the action actually matching the concern? Because it doesn't seem so. The underlying basis for the blocking directions which were issued, for instance, on the farmer protest handles, mm. they by themselves, the reasons behind them, the orders by itself also are not in the public domain. But from what we do know, yeah. a lot of these blocking orders have been directed against tweets which are critical of government policies. Hmm. One such tweet was actually read out by the lawyer for the petitioner, Mr. Hmm. Arvind Dattar, which said that I love my country, but I will criticize my government by itself. And I think this hits at the root of the issue. The second thing which you hmm. have referred as a factual situation that occurred was the labeling of a tweet as manipulated media. And that led to a visit by the Delhi police on the headquarters of Twitter by itself. Right. In this respect, I'd like to point out that there were right to information uh, requests filed by uh, right. where I work with uh, the Ministry of Electronics and IT. And they had indeed issued two letters to Twitter saying that they should not label tweets as manipulated media. Right. But they did not do it under any provision of law. It okay. was only a request. So, this actions today are quite often being taken beyond law 